Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kezia. I've been MIA for a minute and I apologize about that. Just my life has been a little hectic, you know, school and just college and like so much stuff has been going on. But I decided to film this video because I have a little bit of free time today. So I hope you guys would like to see this look. I came up with this look using my Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy palette, I believe. And I'm obsessed with it. The colors are wonderful and so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please keep on watching so to start off i'm going to prime and moisturize my face i'm using the mary Kay time wise age fighting moisturizer and i'm using my baby skin instant pore eraser primer and i'm just gonna like put it all over my face too now that that's done i'm gonna take my nyx matte finish um setting spray i'm just gonna spray my face a little bit I don't know, I just feel like it kind of seals in the primer and everything. I have no idea. I'm going to do my eyes first today. Covergirl concealer in the shade Tawny and put it like all over my eyes. Just so I can like have a base for my eyeshadow and everything. And then I'm gonna take my damp beauty blender and just blend it all out with this. Now I'm going to take my MAC Foundation um, Matchmaster SPF 15 in the shade 7.5 and I'm going to just like drip it on my head, you know? Am I running out? Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I think I'm running out. I'm just going to... I dotted some on the back of my hand just because I thought I was running out. So I definitely believe that I put too much foundation on than I usually do, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to go with it because, you know, I just brought it down to my neck to smooth everything out. Make everything more even. I have a nice and brown melanin is popping. Yes. Then I'm gonna go back in with my concealer and kind of just go back over the places that I already concealed just to make it a little brighter. I'm also gonna go over like a little mustache line. I think you're gonna have to be gentle. Just because sometimes it gets dark there and I don't want any darkness. So it doesn't need to be there, so I'm taking my beauty blender again and just blending it all out. Then I'm going to take my Mary Kay, uh, what is this? Translucent loose powder and just kind of bake with that. This little sponge to do this. And so, so, so. Then I'm going to take this little fluffy brush and kind of set my eyes just so. It makes it even base for my eyeshadow. Now I'm just gonna put some lip gloss, not lip gloss, lip balm on, just so my lips don't get too dry, you feel me? Like I said in my Christmas haul when I got my Kylie Cosmetics um, eyeshadow palette, I would make a look for you guys, so that's what I'm doing today. I got the burgundy palette, I believe, and it looks like this. It came with all of these colors. They are stunning, I love them. So I'm going to show you what I do with it now because I use it like every Sunday and every time I'm going out somewhere fancy or nice or I want to put makeup on, I literally do this look. So that's what I'm going to do now. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this middle color, I think it's in the color Beach, and I'm going to put it all over my lid with my finger. I'm using my pinky, I'm going to go in with burgundy and brick and I'm going to mix them two, the two together and put that in my crease. Just like that. Now that I feel that it's blended enough, I'm going to take this little this brush here and I'm going to go back in with burgundy and I'm going to take this other color almond, mix those together and now I'm going to darken my crease. I honestly love this palette so much, it's so pretty. Then using a finger that's not dirty, I'm going to go in with the color 
Naked, I believe, or is it Penny? I don't really know how you tell. I think it's Naked, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Naked, and it's like this orangey color right here. I'm gonna put that on top of my lid as well. And I'm taking that same blush, brush I was using earlier and kind of blend it out a little bit. With another free finger, I'm gonna take the color Dubai, I believe. It's just like this goldy, shimmery kind of color here. And I'm gonna put that right on top of it. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm taking that brush again and I'm going to blend it in a little bit. But not too much because I still want you to be able to see the sparkle, you know what I mean? So, just a little bit. I love it. So that's how we're looking so far. Then, last color I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little small angle brush and I'm going to go in with this color and I think it's Penny. And I'm going to put that in the corners of my eye just to brighten it up a little bit. I think you're going to have to be careful. Yep, just like that. Just like that. And dust off this powder right here. Just dust it off. Dust it, dust it. How did I get eyeshadow on my face? I literally got eyeshadow on my face. I don't know how that works. But... I'll fix that right now. I don't even know how that happened. I don't even know. I don't even know. Now I'm going to use my eyeliner. This is the one that I always use. The Master Precise by Maybelline. Couldn't open it. And I'm just going to do a winged eyeliner. Oh. No. I'm messing up so bad. This eyeliner just has to be a thick one. Make this one a little thicker then. I'm so sad, I literally messed it up, but it doesn't look that bad. To smokeify the eye a little bit more, I'm taking this almond color again and going on my lower lash line with that. This lighting is not doing my eyes justice. I will go outside to like show you guys what it looks like because it looks really good. Like. Looking at it, it looks really, really good. Except for my eyeliner. I'm so upset. Like, it was coming out so nice. But anyways, moving on to mascara. I use my full lash bloom. It's a little dry, so it kind of separates my lashes. So I do like a couple coats with this first. Then I'm going to take my Revlon All-in-One um, mascara and go over that. Just to make them a little darker, longer looking. Take this great lash and go over the bottom lashes. Hey, it actually did my bottom lashes without getting mascara all over my under eye. Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows because they need some loving, some loving. Just gonna brush them out. I need to get my eyebrows done like really, really bad, but I don't have any time or money to do that. So. <laughs> We just try to do the best we can. So I'm taking my Morphe brush, I think it's an E11 brush, and then my ColourPop pomade thingy, and just do my brows, you know what I mean, sis? This is literally not taking me long at all to do my brows. This literally takes me forever. The fact that I'm doing this so quickly is making me very happy. Then I'm going to go with my bronze to um, pressed powder and just dust that all over my face just to give me another even tone. Just to make sure there's no harsh lines and just to give me more of a flawless finish. Because, yeah, sunny, yes, that's what we want. We want a nice polished look. We don't want to be looking patchy. You feel me? You feel me? I hope so. Don't forget your neck, sus. Don't forget your neck. Now, for my favorite part, we're going to do some highlighter. And I always use two. Um, I use, well, not two. This is really a bronzer, but, you know, I use it as a highlighter. 
So I just dip it in here. And then I take my Fenty Beauty um, trophy wipe and I dip it in there as well and just go at it. this a little highlight never killed no body i take this brush and i kind of just like kind of blend it in sort of but not too much i don't want it to look like it's you know whatever then i'm going to take this small eyeshadow brush that i used it for my under eye and dip it in here and just go on the bridge of my nose Oh my gosh, under my eyebrow. Then taking that small little brush again, I'm gonna go back in on my chin. Just a little glow. I'm glowing. Okay, this lip one is a little much for me, so I'm gonna dial it down a little bit. That's more, that's better. Out for lips, I already have my um, lip balm on, so I'm going to go in with this LAX by Colourpop. And I'm kind of just going to dot it on because it's really dark and I don't want it to be super dark. Like that. Just make sure I get it all over. Just like that. And then I'm going to go in with my NYX lingerie. You guys see me use this plenty of times. I forgot to go in. Oh, Lipley. And I'm just going to go on top, with, with, on top of this one with this one. <laughs> It gives you like this nice little reddish color and I'm obsessed with it. I think we're done, sis. I think we're done. So to be a little extra, because I am extra and I don't know, I just love highlighter. I'm going to go back in with my Fenty Beauty and with this little brush and I'm going to go on my collarbones with this because... Why not, sis? Why not? Is it just me or do y'all just like put on makeup to go like absolutely nowhere? Because I do that far too often and I don't know. Looks like I'm coming on myself at this point. I'm blending. I'm not left handed. And do -do 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 -do. Uh, Beautiful. To top it off, I'm going to use my setting spray again and just spray it all over. Oh, yes. She's a good one. Oh, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like the look that I came up with. And if you did, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos from me. And thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to spread all your positive vibes. The world needs them and you need them. And it's just good to have and radiate positive energy. I love it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.